let's talk about soybeans. Uh, a good day today. It's, it's more fun to come on talking about these products when we're in the green. It seems a lot of times I, I actually am on a lot of times in the red. And they have been as of late a lot, at least this year. But no, uh, we've got to, come, coming in to uh, do this uh, report. We've got beans with double digit gains. So that's fantastic. So now finally we've, we're, we're above that 50 day moving average in beans. And now if you're a bull, we got to kind of look towards that 100 day. That's the next hurdle. We'd like to get over. So we're up across the board uh, decently today with those double digit gains. And, you know, it's nice to see the funds kind of buying too. Yesterday, the funds flipped. We bought about 7,000 contracts. Uh, and so now they could be long, say, maybe up to 15,000, maybe 20,000 contracts. If you are, um, it's, it sounds perverse, but a lot of times you'd like to see the funds short on these kind of rallies because then you know that's going to be rocket fuel when they come to get out to kind of drive us higher. And to have them not be that short and actually be a little long, um, the funds can be right. I mean, they can be right sometimes, too, like we all can. Um, but not being or having a big short in there kind of takes the steam out of the bulls in a perverse way. But they have flipped. Uh, they are long. Not a, not a ton. 15 to 20,000 contracts. We'll wait and see um, if that really is a, a reason. We haven't had anything Mother Nature to worry about yet. We had a little bit of a cold snap. But keep in mind that they basically are flat to slightly long. and. Um, if you're if you're looking for a big short to give the market some fuel, it's not going to happen right now. Uh, we've been talking about this 30 cent range of July beans. We've been bouncing around in it for about six weeks. 8.30 to 8.60. Well, hey, we broke through it today. Uh, if we close above that 8.60 level, that's going to be some good short-term news for this market because we've been in that 30 cent range for so long, kind of bouncing around again from 8.30 to 8.60. I hate talking about a lot of numbers because sometimes you kind of get mixed up in them. But just know this. We've been in a sideways range for six weeks, and we've broken out to the upside. That's the simplest way to say it. And the simplest way to say it is also the simplest way to see it. And what that means is we've got a breakout to the upside. We've got over that 50-day moving average. The funds are now long. You kind of get the picture, right? So keep that in mind for the next few days because I think this is going to give us some short-term direction.